Have you ever seen an ad for broccoli? What about finger licking good hazelnuts? Or juicy blueberries, a taste that lingers? How many ads have you seen about whole foods? Now let me ask you a different question. How many ads have you seen about processed food? McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, just to name a few. Where I live, they're everywhere. Walk into a grocery store. How much processed food can you see? Take a stroll down the center of any city. How many fast food places can you spot? I'll answer both for you. A crap ton. We are surrounded by junk and it has become such a normal thing that we don't even notice it anymore. Good luck trying to find anything that doesn't contain refined sugar or added oils. For someone trying to eat healthy, it's a nightmare out there. In a world saturated with processed food and fast food chains on every corner, it's easy to fall into the trap of convenience over health. And if you think that anyone in the food industry cares about your health, you're living an illusion. Advertisements bombard us from every direction. Diet pills and cellulite creams get shoved down our throats. The promise of quick weight loss and rapid body transformation gets dangled in front of our eyes. And rarely anyone cares to address the core issue, our lifestyle. Veganism is on the rise, which is great from an ethical point of view, but shelves are lined with more and more processed vegan products than ever. Whole foods are barely shown anywhere, and most people have no idea how many edible and delicious plants there are hiding in the shadowy bottom shelves of our grocery stores. Why is this the case? Well, first of all, you can profit from whole foods as much as you can profit from processed foods. Processed food is highly palatable, gives people a dopamine kick, and gets them addicted. As an owner of a fast food chain, this is exactly what you want. People keep coming back for more and there is always something new you can offer them. There is always a new greasy sugary concoction brewing behind closed doors. Whole foods on the other hand are not nearly as addictive. When have you ever not been able to stop eating brussels sprouts or quinoa or flax seeds? Another thing is, you can grow plants in your garden, but you can't make your own McDonald's or Coca-Cola at home. Which means that you are dependent on these places to provide you with that experience. But you don't really care which particular brand of broccoli you're eating. I know I don't. It's not like some new company can offer you a brand new flavor of apples. So from a monetary point of view, it makes sense that we are surrounded by junk food instead of healthy whole foods. Also, if you eat junk food, you are at a much higher risk of developing a myriad of diseases and then becoming dependent on medications. And how will the pharmacological industry profit if we all lived healthy lives and never really needed their products? Eating junk food also affects your skin and drives obesity. And how will the cosmetics and beauty industries thrive if they can't sell you their creams and dreams of ideal beauty? Aside from eating junk food on a regular basis, our youth tends to have other bad habits as well. Smoking like a chimney, drowning in alcohol like it's an elixir of life, and being so sleep deprived they're basically indistinguishable from zombies. These habits are all glamorized as rites of passage, while prioritizing your health is seen as boring. Try being in your 20s and telling a group of people your age that you don't smoke or drink that you go to bed at 10 and get 8 hours of sleep every night. Or that you prefer to eat a bowl of oatmeal with berries instead of a greasy pastry and a coke. You're gonna be ridiculed. And I know that I'm generalizing here and that not everyone thinks this way, but the truth is that the majority of people don't live a healthy life. They believe that just because they're young, it's okay to treat their bodies like trash cans because it's fun and you only live once. I can't tell you how many times I've been made fun of for posting meals with multiple ingredients, all of which were whole foods, and being told that my food is just too complicated. Well, how many ingredients went into your meal? How many antibiotics were shoved down the throat of the animal that was slaughtered for the burger that you're now golfing down like there's no tomorrow? It is generally accepted that a fun life has to include unhealthy habits. And if you don't partake in that lifestyle, you are labeled as boring and a party breaker. Your life is seen as miserable, your food is seen as bland, and your days are devoid of joy. I have a theory why that's the case. A person that smokes, drinks, and eats junk food is addicted to all of these things. If they suddenly stopped smoking, drinking, and eating junk food, they would experience withdrawal symptoms and they're just not gonna have a good time. That's why, from their perspective, the person who doesn't have these addictions and lives a healthy life seems miserable. Because to the addicted person, taking away all these addictions equals hell. And they can't possibly imagine how a person that lives healthy could enjoy life. 
The thing is, if they gave themselves time and focused on their health, they would soon see how detached they were from reality and how fun and fulfilling a healthy life can be. I'm grateful that I'm at a point in life where the opinion of my peers just doesn't concern me, especially when their life is completely opposite from mine. Why should I care what someone thinks of me and my life when there's literally nothing in their life that I strive to achieve? I'm willing to help and guide anyone that struggles with bad habits but wants to improve the quality of their life. But you won't see me losing sleep over the opinion of the drunk person chain smoking and eating a greasy piece of junk at 5 in the morning in front of a musty club. In fact, you won't see me losing sleep over anyone's opinion because my 8 hours of quality sleep are more important than anything anyone might think or say. And now let's talk about balance. There is nothing that arouses me more than this topic. I watched a video of a girl showing her workout routine and then at the end of the video she went to McDonald's because it's important to enjoy life. Her words, not mine. She is just an example, but I see this so often. People talk about how they eat healthy most of the time, but then eat junk on the weekends to balance it out. It's the 80-20 rule or whatever. What bothers me here is not that they're eating junk food, but that it is always portrayed as the enjoyment part. As if eating healthy is the boring part and eating processed junk food is the part that brings joy. And I wonder why is enjoying life always associated with unhealthy habits? Why do we have this narrative? Why can't enjoying my life mean indulging in a hearty whole foods meal? Why can't enjoying life mean getting a good workout in or working on creative projects or getting to go to bed early and get a good night's sleep? If anything, whenever I eat junk food or stay up late or have no physical activity, I feel at my worst, physically and sometimes mentally. It's really hard to function when you're running on three hours of sleep and empty calories. For me, balance is not working out three days a week and then spending the other four days laying in bed, not moving at all. Laying in bed the whole day never makes me feel good. On the contrary, it makes my body ache and it takes all of my energy away. Balance for me is giving my body time to rest from strenuous workouts, not by not moving at all, but by going on leisurely walks or having a stretch at home. And when it comes to food, balance for me is not eating McDonald's once a week, but cooking something that takes less time or letting my partner cook. Anytime I eat something deep fried or with sugar in it, my skin breaks out, my stomach hurts, I feel low in energy, and feeling like this does not bring me any joy in life and is not worth the dopamine fix I get while eating. Sleep-wise, I have worked so hard on creating a healthy routine. I used to struggle so much as a teenager and I was always sleep deprived. Now I make it a priority to go to bed early and get enough quality sleep every night. Breaking this habit with a late Friday night only sets me back and disrupts my routine, and I see no joy in that. As far as work goes, a work-life balance for me doesn't mean scrolling on social media instead of working, but reading a book or listening to a podcast on a topic that I find interesting and that I can learn something from. Balance is shoved in our face all the time and good luck trying to ditch this flawed concept and instead live a healthy life and follow healthy habits all the time. You're flagged down as problematic, you're labeled as boring and you're told that life is just not fun without bad habits in it. I'm tired of this. Balance shouldn't be a compromise between indulgence and health. It should be about embracing habits that nourish both body and soul. Living healthy isn't about deprivation, it's about liberation. It's reclaiming joy, vitality and purpose in every choice we make. If you resonated with anything I've said, join me in reshaping the narrative. Let's redefine balance and embrace a life where health is synonymous with happiness. If you enjoyed this video, you will definitely enjoy this one. Hit the subscribe button to support the channel, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.